friends thanks so much for watching welcome back to my channel and if you're new here thank you so much for clicking on today's video today we are jumping right into the cleaning decluttering and organization I know that with the new year everybody's feeling so inspired to just get rid of stuff and I definitely was when I filmed this video we're starting out in the bathroom and then we'll be working our way upstairs to finally put away Christmas decor and organize the different bins so if you like these kinds of videos please be sure to hit the like button and make sure you're subscribed to my channel before you go I would love to have you and let's go ahead and get right into it so like I said we're starting out today in the bathroom and this is the only functioning bathroom I have at the moment we ripped out the entire vanity upstairs in the bathroom upstairs because I have some major plans to finally finish that bathroom I just kind of need to decide what I want to do for sure and then that will probably be a project that we will tackle when we have several weeks to get it done probably won't be happening till the summer so I'm just gonna have to live with one bathroom for a little bit and everything is shoved underneath this sink and so it needed a big declutter starting with these drawers that I don't even know when I had last cleaned them out but like you just saw the one here had tons of nail polish in it and also like random beauty things like I don't know nail like actual fake nails and stuff but I wanted to give it a good wipe down and then only put back in the nail polish that I knew I was keeping is anybody else a nail polish hoarder or is that just me I had several nail polishes that were completely dried up and really gross and I really tend to prefer the OPI nail polishes so I pretty much threw out everything that wasn't one of these I can see that. So in this drawer, I'm also going to put face masks just because I don't usually have but two or three at one time. I also have some little nose strips that work really well. And then I could not wait to wipe out this cabinet because there is contact paper down here, but it had just gotten a little bit gross and a lot of times my hair is in there. So it was great to get it all cleaned out. And then now I'm working on the bottom drawer and I keep so many small travel sized lotions, shampoos, conditioners, soaps, toothpaste, you name it. If it's travel size, I probably have it. And just like nail polish, this stuff goes bad really fast. It dries up. I had tons of like spray things for like hairspray and um, sea salt spray and those are completely dried up. The lotion had like coagulated in the bottles. You have to go through this stuff, you know, pretty regularly and I just hadn't done it in a long time. So I'm basically throwing out everything that is not almost brand new or brand new and if it is not something that is name brand and I know the ingredients in it are good I'm tossing it for sure just because a lot of these are hotel bottled shampoos and conditioners and while I'm sure they're perfectly fine I just don't need a hundred of them Every change has a So now that this is all wiped out, I'm going to be using this drawer to store any extras. So extra toothpaste that I haven't opened, extra toothbrush, makeup sponges, razors, 
Anything that you buy in like a multi-pack and you have extras of, I'm gonna keep in here along with just a few of those travel size items that I kept. And I also have an entire set of travel size empty bottles. So a lot of times when I travel, I just pour my own shampoo into one of those reusable bottles anyway. So it felt really good to declutter most of that stuff. And now we're moving on to this little basket here. And if you've watched some of my videos before, you guys know that I keep all of my daily products in here. It's super easy just to pull this out and do whatever I need to do. So this has my toothbrush, toothpaste, face lotions, body lotions, anything that I use on my hair and things like that. It also sometimes is a catch all for like random chapsticks and hair products. So you can just tell that it really needed to be cleaned. like this just looks so much better and everything in here I would say I use either every day or at least every week I don't wash my hair every day but I do brush my teeth put on deodorant every day I put lotion on my face every day and I do my hair but I only wash my hair once a week so a lot of the oils that I use on the ends of my hair to keep them you know really healthy I don't use every day but that's pretty much what lives in this basket and then I only have a couple of hair tools and I've been looking on Amazon for one of those racks that goes on the back of the cabinet door and it holds the hair dryer. It would hold like a straightener and a curling iron. Um, but I will try to link it down below in case you guys are interested in any organization things. A lot of these I've had for a really long time, but I can definitely link something very similar to it in my description box. Spinning like a broken record for All right, we're moving upstairs and this is the leftover Christmas mess as I like to call it because this has been living upstairs in my office for over a week and I was so happy to finally get rid of it. But I mentioned this in my last video, this bag here, it holds both the Christmas trees. So I have one Christmas tree that is six feet. I have another one that is like three, three and a half feet. And then it also has my two flock garlands and then the other small garland that I have and it works so well for storing those kinds of things especially if you're into flocked items I find that it really helps to keep the mess really contained in one place but now I'm filling this green tub with everything that is outdoor Christmas related so this is like the candles that went in the windows garland that was outside, the timer that we use to set for the lights, the spotlight, and then all of the strands of Christmas lights are also going in this tub all the ones that were outside and I did make sure to label them since we used a combination this year of cool and warm lights. So that's what I'm gonna fit in this bin and then the whole mess behind me is everything that was inside the house and that needs to be put away too. So you're burning with desire asked you guys in my last video whether you were like me and you put every piece of decor in one space before you put it away or if you kind of carry your totes around as you go and just kind of put stuff in and I was surprised at how many of you are just as crazy as me and like to put all of your stuff in one space before you put it away and honestly I find that even though this is really overwhelming to have everything in one room especially because these rooms in my house are not very big and it was really hard to get in and out of here I do 
find that putting it away is a lot easier because I can see everything and I can kind of formulate a game plan for how to maximize space. And that is just a small tip if you do have a small home like me with not a ton of storage is if you just kind of lay everything out, it really helps you to see what you have to work with and where you want to put everything. So you're going to see me doing a lot of that in the next few clips, just kind of trying to maximize the space as much as I can. away was all of these ornaments and I will try to link this ornament container in the description box because it is from Walmart and I'm pretty sure when I went to Walmart recently they had it again but I did buy mine last year and it is so amazing it comes with different plastic dividers so you can decide how big or how small you want to make each little section for the ornaments and I will say it is so much harder when you do it the second year because last year was the first year I had this and I made every section the right right size according to the ornament I was putting in. And then this year I had already put the dividers in so I had to try and find ornaments that fit the spaces. So it is a little bit trickier. It's like playing Tetris a little bit but I made it work. We are moving on to putting away the home decor now and I had three bins to work with and all three of the bins were different sizes so I kind of knew what I wanted to put in each one. So the first bin here I'm just putting in a bunch of smaller items, um, things that will stack nicely on top of each other and I had to get a bunch of tissue paper to kind of wrap some of these things. I did get a few new items this year. I got some as gifts for Christmas, I got some in PR and then I also went and bought a few things so I definitely needed to make sure that everything was really protected that was going to break so I try to use tissue paper that looks 
old, if that makes sense. I always try and save tissue paper when I get gifts and if something looks super, super wrinkled, I still hold on to it anyway because this is the perfect time to use any of that old tissue paper. tote I just kind of did the same thing I'm mostly just wrapping things up that need to go in tissue paper and kind of stacking them in there as gently as I can I ended up using the tree skirt as like extra padding <laughs> just try to use soft things when you can if you have like pillows or blankets or things and you can use that as your like stuffer instead of tissue paper then that works really well too i keep most of my blankets and pillows in my linen closets but i did end up packing my three christmas pillows because i am seriously running out of room didn't care about the rules good on the weekends i'll be in fools drifting the deep space so brave and so stupid just like the movies how it's gonna stay in the fight with you So the last bin is probably the longest one that I have so I decided to put all of my like picks and things for the Christmas tree in there that way I didn't have to bend any of them up and then I cannot believe I was able to get every last piece of decor in this bucket before I put the lid on I was super proud of myself and then the last thing that I'm gonna do in here is vacuum because I know it's really hard to see but there was tons of glitter and flocking and things all over this carpet nothing better than vacuum lines I felt so good after all of this had been put away since it had been sitting in this room for so many weeks but that is gonna be it for today's video I am going to be putting out another declutter and organization video here really soon so if you are not subscribed with your bell notifications turned on make sure you do that before you go and I will see you guys again really soon with a brand new video bye guys we were